I disliked my natural hair. I was rocking my straight and damaged hair. And I had really rationalized that the only way to feel worthy was to have straight hair. Today I'm really excited to share with you a video on how I have learned to love and appreciate and embrace my natural hair. I remember one specific experience that showed me how much I disliked my natural hair. So this memory takes me back to high school days when I was in the weeds of trying to figure out my self-worth, my value, and just how I fit into this world. Let me give you a little backstory so you can have a little bit of context. As I mentioned, I was in high school and at this moment, at this particular moment, I was rocking my straight and damaged hair. Yes, I said it. My hair was damaged, y'all, because I was straightening it all the time. All the time. I was constantly frying my hair in hopes of maintaining a level of security based on the US beauty standards and just how my peers felt and about beauty, right? So I found myself always straightening my hair. Now I remember one specific day, I was on my way home from school and I was waiting for the bus at the bus stop. And at that moment, that day, I was feeling a little bit down about myself. It was high school days, so you can imagine, right? Everything felt like it was a big deal. And I remember that day, um, I was feeling down because I was feeling a little bit rejected by the person that I was entertaining at that time, right? And um, I remember as I'm like going through this internal internal turmoil of not feeling pretty enough, not feeling, you know, memorable enough, not feeling worthy of that person's attention. I remember as I was like going through this in my heart, I saw this young girl, young lady from across the bus stop. Now imagine this is high school days. So was she a young lady or a young girl? It doesn't really matter, right? But I saw this, this young girl. Um, and she was completely opposite from me. She was a, a, a young lady of a fairer skin complexion, um, straight and long hair. She was a little bit more voluptuous. Um, and I can't quite remember what she was wearing, but I know that it was opposite from me, right? Um, and I remember as I looked at her, immediately I felt small and unknowingly I started to size myself and um, compare myself to what she looked like versus what I looked like what I thought was beautiful and what I had and subconsciously I told myself and convinced myself that the only way for me to fix this problem is to fix my hair Somehow I thought that my hair being straight long would be the way to fix this ordeal of me feeling less than. And I had really rationalized that the only way to feel worthy was to have straight hair. Yes, I had rationed a whole bunch of lies to myself and made myself believe that I was the problem and my hair was the problem. Now, this kind of like mentality um, lasted for a couple of years in high school, but it started to shift um, towards my late high school years. Um, it started to shift. And if I'm being honest, the reason why it shifted is because I started to encounter um, women of high, um, high character, women who had morals, women who had standards, women who just walked with so much grace that I really admired. And not only did I admire them for their internal beauty, I also admired them for their external beauty and the way they were able to rock their natural hair. And so seeing women in my day-to-day -day 
and seeing women on YouTube rock their natural hair gave me the confidence to try to dare and say, let me try this. Borrowed um, the confidence of those women, the women that I was watching over um, YouTube and the women that I saw in real life. I borrowed their faith. I was able to look to see myself through their eyes and um, see how beautiful they were and believe that I could be that too. Now that you know that my natural hair journey and my idea of what it means to be natural was not always positive, I want to share with you three tips to keep in mind if you're in the journey of loving and embracing your natural hair. The number one tip is to learn from people who inspire you and from people who resemble you in your hair journey. It's important to um, pay attention to women's hair journey that looks like yours because this kind of gives you a little bit of footing, right? It helps you to also see that it is possible and to see what is possible for you. You can always learn from other people whose hair textures are a little bit different from yours, but it's there's just something about learning from people whose stories resemble your story. It just gives you the faith that you can do it too. Number two, give yourself time and space to appreciate and learn your natural hair in the different seasons. Now every season is different and you're gonna um, your life is gonna require different things of you. And so it's important to kind of um, tailor your natural hair journey to your season. If you are a high school student and you have a little bit more time on your hands, this might be the time to learn how to flat twist, how to do um, bantu knots, how to do um, braids, plaids, whatever it is, right, cornrows. This might be the time. If you're a college student and you feel like you're crunch, you're crunching for time, maybe this is the time for you to understand and learn productive protective hairstyles. I say productive because not every protective hairstyle is productive, right? If you are someone that is in, you know, about to be a new mom or is a new mom, maybe this is the time to learn also productive protective hairstyles, but also learning that if a hairstyle doesn't come out the way that you want it to, it's not the end of the world, right? So whatever season that you're in, find ways to, um, make your natural hair routine fit into your the structure that you have in the season that you are currently facing because there's nothing beneficial that's going to come out of keeping the same systems that served you three years ago that do not serve you now sometimes we have to shift and different seasons require different things from us and number three i have to say you have to know, I want you to know, and please know, that every single strand of hair that is on your head is numbered. And we have a whole bunch. But every one of them is numbered. That just goes on to say that your hair is an important piece of you. It is an intentional piece of you and it was created for you specifically and it was thought about and you're thought about these strands are thought of they are not just here just because but God has numbered every single one of them how phenomenal is that to me that just helps me remember how valuable, how precious I am in the eyes of my father. And that also gives me the confidence to move forward in whatever room I am in, in my most utmost natural self. Now, this journey with my natural hair has not only benefited my hair, but it's also benefited me. Because as I embrace my natural hair, I let her be free. I let her do what she's going to do how she wants to do it. We speak each other's language. We become each other's best friends. She also helps me. She helps me gain the confidence to believe that I am worthy, to believe in myself, to stand up tall, to know that I am beautiful, 
to know that I have a crown on my head at all times. So I hope that in your journey to embracing your natural hair, you're able to consider those three tips that I shared. And hopefully, next time we chat, I can hear you say, girl, I am embracing and loving my natural hair. And if you're someone who is currently embracing and loving your natural hair, comment down below. I am embracing and loving my natural hair. And if you're someone who's still kind of like, you know, struggling a little bit, we got you. You could borrow my faith for now until you can find yours and run with yours. If you're someone who's still struggling to figure out how to um, get started and how to start your wash day, I suggest that you check out my video right up here and hopefully you're able to find some tools that'll help you get started with your hair journey. And of course, don't you forget to do absolutely everything with love in your heart. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.